everyone, welcome back to our ZDZ audio again. So today, we're going to talk about the subwoofers and woofers. When we talk about the subwoofers and the woofers, the differences of the subwoofer and woofers is always the hot top problem for us. And I'm sure many of you were wondering, what's the main differences between subwoofers and the woofers? So in this video today, we gonna break it down for you. Let's we explore the differences between subwoofers and the woofers together. And that maybe will help you to decide which one is the right one for your audio needs. So let's start. Firstly, let's we talk about the subwoofers. The subwoofers, so subwoofer is a kind of a speaker made to handle the frequency between 20 Hz and 200 Hz. They are designed to produce a shocking bass, especially for movies, concerts, and other occasions that need to strengthen the bass effect. And let's we move to the woofers. So what's the woofers? Woofers, it's a kind of a speaker made to handle the power or cover the frequency between 200 Hz to 2500 Hz handle low and low mid-range frequency can deliver a good bass but it also works for some middle low sounds like vocals, guitars and other instruments so What's the main differences between the subwoofers and the woofers? The first is the range frequency. Just like what I mentioned before, the subwoofers frequency, they will cover the 20 Hz to 200 Hz. But the woofers, they cover the 40 Hz to 2500 Hz, right? So it's the difference or maybe it's the key difference between the subwoofers and woofers. So if you see the differences, you will know the woofers have a broader range than the subwoofer, right? So it can reproduce both bass and mid-range sounds. But the subwoofers is different from the woofers. They especially, it's built for the really deep bass they will give you a more tense bass experience give you that deep rumble that you can feel on your chest right so the second difference is its size and power consumption as you can see here the subwoofer is always bigger than the woofers right like often the woofers just like smaller they are often 8 to 50 inches in diameter. Their size makes them easier fit in compact space and they generally require less power, ranging from 100 watts to 500 watts. But the subwoofer is different. The subwoofer is typically 12 to 21 inches in diameter. They are bigger, so they need more space to generate that base. Subwoofers needs a lot of power, ranging from 300 watts to 1000 watts. And some professional subwoofers can go over 2000 watts. It's very huge, right? And now let's move to the third differences. The third difference is the driver configuration. This is a subwoofer and this is a woofer. It means they have different number of the drivers. A woofer maybe have many drivers, multi driver, like two ways or three ways driver system, which combines low frequency, middle frequency, and high frequency together. This will help the subwoofer have a full range of sounds mid-range and high frequency together and the subwoofer is different the subwoofer especially have one driver for itself 
This makes the subwoofer more specialized in the bass reproduction and fourth is about the scenarios like application scenarios the application scenario woofers are greater at home theater audio and car audio and small to medium size spaces but the woofers but the subwoofers excel environments where you need a deep and rich bass they are perfect for concerts in any place that the bass need to be filled as much as they heard. So how can we choose them? Which one is more suitable to me? Or which one is the right one for me? Let's we talk about it. So if you are looking for a rich and full range sound that will balance the bass with the mid-range clarity, the woofers will be the way to go. But if you want deep bass that will make your movie and music feel more immersive, then the subwoofer should be the way to go, or it's a solid choice for you. And also, the spaces, it's another consideration. The subwoofers need more space and require a lot of power. So if you are tight on space and need to keep energy consumption low, then the woofer is the best choice for you. Anyway, the choices about the subwoofers and woofers depends on your preference and your space and what kind of audio experience you want. Whether you are looking for versatility or uh, intense space, you will be able to choose the one that will fit your commitment or maybe fit your needs. So don't worry. Anyway, next it happened to you. So if you like the content of a video today, please give me a stand up. And also, if you want to see more interesting information about our products in the future, you can subscribe us. And also, if you have any question you want to ask, just comment down below and we will answer you quickly. So, See you next time.